Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining Hold On Ministries for a chapter a day. Today, we will be reading from Genesis 14. While Amraphel was king of Shinar, Elisar's king, Ariok, Elam's king, Chedorlaomer, and Goem's king, Tidal, declared war on Sodom's king, Bera, Gomorrah's king, Beersha, Adma's king, King Shinab, Zoem's king, Shemaber, and the king of Bela, that is, Zor. These latter kings formed an alliance in the Siddim Valley, that is, the Dead Sea. For twelve years they had served Chedorlaomer, and in the thirteenth year they revolted. In the fourteenth year, Chedorlaomer and the kings of his alliance came and attacked the Raphim and Ashtaroth, Karnaim, the Zuzim, and Ham, and Emim, and Shaveh, Kiriathang, and the Horites in the mountains of Seir, as far as El Paran, near the desert. Then they turned back, came to En Mispat, that is Kadesh, and attacked the territory of the Amalekites, as well as the Amorites who lived in Hazazon, Tamar. Then the kings of Sodom, Gomorrah, Admim, Zobim, and Bera, that is Zor, took up battle positions in the Siddim Valley against King Chedorlaomer of Elam, King Tidal of Goam, King Amraphel of Shinar, and King Ariok of Elisar, four kings against five. Now the Siddim Valley was filled with tar pits. When the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah retreated, they fell into them, and the rest fled to the mountains. They took everything from Sodom and Gomorrah, including its food supplies, and left. They also took Lot, Abram's nephew, who lived in Sodom, and everything he owned and took off. When a survivor arrived, he told Abram the Hebrew, who lived near the oaks of the Amorite Mamre, who was the brother of Eshcol and Anner, Abram's treaty partners. When Abram heard that his relative had been captured, he took all of the loyal men born in his household, 318, and went after them as far as Dan. During the night, he, he and his servants divided themselves up against them, attacked and chased them to Hoba, north of Damascus. He brought back all of the looted property together with his relative Lot and Lot's property, wives and people. After Abram returned from his attack on Chadalomar and the kings who were with him, the king of Sodom came to the Sheva Valley, that is the king's valley, to meet him. Now Melchizedek, the king of Salem and the priest of El Elyon had brought bread and wine and he blessed him. Bless Abram by El Ilion, creator of heaven and earth. Bless El Ilion, who gave you the victory over your enemies. Abram gave Melchizedek one-tenth of everything. Then the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people and take the property for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I promise the Lord El Ilion, creator of heaven and earth, that I wouldn't take even a thread or a sandal strap from anything that was yours so that you couldn't say, I'm the one who made Abram rich. The only exception is that the young men may keep whatever they have taken to eat. And the men who went with me, Anner, Eshcol, and Mamre, may keep their share. 